Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We are inching closer and closer. In fact, all the breaks we need to do to, to, to give away that break credit promo we had on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com, all full. So congrats to you. Hopefully, you'll get some break credit. And thank you. This is Pick Your Team 3 on a Saturday. There's Donner's Optic Basketball. Jeremy Merle, Last Spot, Mojo, Nets. There's everybody else. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate everybody getting in. Good luck. Like I said, this is kind of a long break, so get comfortable, get settled in, and get ready for who knows, I don't know, sometimes in these longer breaks, especially on a Saturday after a long week and I get a little, little loopy, who knows where the conversation may go. Usually, I like to say, hey, you know, when we're breaking a basketball break, let's keep the convo about basketball, stuff like that, but... But, you know, in an hour-long break, Saturday night after a long week, kind of kind of relax that rule a little bit. I don't mind as much. Um, all right. Good luck, everybody. Tuesday, new stuff comes out, right? No. Usually, new releases are on Wednesdays and Fridays. Generally speaking. Although I think I'm getting a, uh, I think we're getting Leaf Metal Draft on Tuesday though. That was a Friday release, but you know. Oh, nice, Kevin. I love a Reggie Miller. Don't have one, and loved when he played for my Pacers, Kevin. I have to say that there are two. A lot of people ask, hey, who's your favorite non-Raider or non-Dodger or whatever or non? -Lit? I I I can't really think of too much outside of. The football uh, outside of the Raiders and outside of the Dodgers. But outside of the Lakers, there are two players that I clearly, two non Lakers that I really, really like. Allen Iverson, the answer, and Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller is also a UCLA guy, so that also helps, but but uh, so he's, a, he's a Southern California guy. But. But uh, I am a Joe Cavanaugh. I am a Reggie Miller fan. Allen Iverson and Reggie Miller. And that's mostly, you know, because Reggie Miller has a lot of roots here in Southern California. I know, I'm sorry. Has a lot of roots in Southern California. UCLA guy. I went to a UC. I support the UCLA. You know? And I just like the, you know, I, I just like the family. Cheryl Miller, his older sister, would always pick on him. She was always a much better basketball player than he was growing up. So he would get punked around. He's just kind of an underdog kid. And just a legendary trash talker. I just, I, he's just a legendary trash talker. I love it. That's why I like Gary Payton too. I just like that old school trash talk. Not like the new school mean trash talk. You know? But, like, just old school trash talk. Nah, you ain't got it today. Now look at that stat line. You don't got yeah, I apologize, Joe Kavanaugh. And Allen Iverson, just, just the way he plays, just plays so hard. Dion Waiters, out of 199 for the Heat. There's this Giannis Silver, or Hollow. What do they call it? In, is it Hollow in this set? I think it's Hollow in this set. Select, or Prism is Prism. Track anymore. All right, we got Teodosic, a hollow rated rookie. And we got out of 49, Derek White, rated rookie autograph for the Spurs, a little oppo. Mojo for Josh. Fifteen out of forty-nine. There's Reggie Miller. The hollow edition of Reggie Miller. 
And Kyle Kuzma. Lime green. You put the lime in the coconut. Nice one for EA and the Lakers. I wouldn't be surprised if this goes for like 15, 20 bucks. That's how great some of these parallels of the top rookies can go for. I don't know why this DeMarcus Cousins was flipped around, but it's regular DeMarcus Cousins. Got lime green Jimmy Butler. Red, bam, Adebayo. That Donovan Mitchell, is, that'll, that'll ship, but it's just a regular rated rookie card. All right, for the Heat, Bam Adebayo. 28 out of 99 for the Miami Heat. Dylan with that one. And you put the lime in the coconut. 37 out of 175. That is still Bulls edition of Jimmy Butler. That'll go to Jason Jones. Just sleeve these up really quick. Next box. Right, exactly, Gilo. People who talk trash back in the day could usually back it up. Now they just hide behind Twitter. Or uh, or YouTube handles, comment section of a uh, of a newspaper. Hold on, so Joe Cavanaugh, why don't you like Reggie Miller? Did, did, did Reggie Miller kick your dog? What happened? What happened with these cars? Why these are right side up and upside down? It's not gonna help them make the break go faster. What do I think about the mega boxes of Optic? Are there mega boxes of Optic? Like jumbos? Megas? Oh, it's a target thing? Yeah, I, I don't know. My, my knowledge on retail stuff is not, is not very strong. But I know Optic in general is pretty nice, so I dig it. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the next box. Harry Giles, rated rookie. We got orange Kevin Durant out of 199. So Joe's saying, as a Michael Jordan fan, I despise everything about Reggie Miller, from his team to his haircut even, his mannerisms, his shot, his shoving, his use of screens, everything. Man. Kevin Durant, Warriors, Eric Bailey. There's Larry Bird. That's how I feel about Larry Bird, Joe Cavanaugh. The way you feel about Reggie Miller is how I feel about Larry Bird. Andre Drummond, out of 99 for the Pistons. Out of 99, Larry Bird. MRG, everything breaks on, uh, on this channel now. And we've got orange CJ McCollum. The tra Trailblazers could be a pretty tough team in the playoffs, Karen. Out of 199, CJ McCollum. Lime green, Steven Adams. Put the lime in the coconut. That goes to G-Lo. 
with the Steven Adams out of 175. 48 out of 49, Clint Capella autograph. Clint, Clint Capella. Big, uh, big part of the Rocket success. Uh, that goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Houston Rockets. All right, next box. See what's going on here today. Only one, two, three, four, five, six games. Six games. Spurs hosting the Trailblazers. Speaking of the Trailblazers, 116 out of 116 to 105. Spurs beat the visiting Trailblazers in Houston. Look at this in Houston. OKC 108 to 102 over Houston. That was one of my, uh, I didn't put any pennies on this game, but that was one of my picks from last night. I was like, Houston, they're gonna be resting people. They're not gonna be as motivated to win this game. Thunder are. Um, the Pelicans defeated the Golden State Warriors 126 to 120. Chicago doing the tank thing. They get beat by Brooklyn, 124 to 96. Brooklyn Nets don't want to tank because they don't have a first round draft pick. Goes to the Cavs. So they've, they've been playing pretty hard down the stretch. Knicks down by the Bucks, 115 to 102. And the Nuggets definitely motivated for the playoffs. And I don't think the Clippers just have enough firepower. Clippers going down to the Nuggets. Nuggets win 134-115. Gilo saying the inserts and parallels are so much better in basketball than in football or baseball. It's uh, it's supply and demand. It's classic supply and demand. How many guys are on a baseball roster? How many prospects are there? How many minor league systems are there? Tons. How many how many guys are on an active roster? Twenty five. You know, how many guys are on, on a basketball roster? 15, maybe? Five regular starters? There's Tobias Harris out of 190. So that's why, you know, drafts are only two rounds for the basketball draft, as opposed to like the seven for football and like the dozen for baseball. And so I think with that supply and demand, that's why you see, like, if we found, like, a, well, if we found, like, a, the hollow version, the prism version of that Lonzo Ball card, that, that would go for a lot, as opposed to the optic football break we did out of 175 lime green, where that just doesn't happen as much in football just because there's so many different players. Got guys on the defensive side of the ball, offensive side of the ball, huge rosters. There's Bobby Portis, Lime Green to 175. Bulls, that goes to Jason Jones. And Norm Nixon, old school for Nick Sanderson out of 175. So that's why those parallels. And that's why I always tell people, hey, basketball, that's where the re that's where you got big value in, in basketball. Any guesses on that redemption? Bragging rights? Sorcery bragging rights? There's Ryan Anderson, 20 out of 49, blue. And there's Siakam. Uh, they call that parallel velocity, black velocity. It's out of 39. It's a lower number, we'll sleeve that parallel up. And load it up. Seven, seven, 
All right. It's rated rookie signatures. The OG, Anuobi. That is for the Raptors. And that'll go to Gilo. Yeah, we got to see a Donovan Mitchell or a or a Dennis Smith Jr. at some point. We haven't seen, we haven't seen those guys yet. So are the playoffs set? Yeah, okay. So they're pretty much set. So tonight's loss uh, finally eliminates the Clippers. <coughs> the Nuggets still have an outside shot at sneaking into a playoff spot. They are currently tied with the Timberwolves with, uh, with, the, with an identical 45-35 record, although I think due to some tiebreaker, the Timberwolves are are a little ahead of the Nuggets. And then the Pelicans, Spurs, and Thunder are all bunched up. Five, six, seven. Just a just a half game behind the Utah Jazz. So all that that whole that whole grouping of teams from four down to, to nine, basically, are are all bunched up and anything can happen. In like the last, what, there's like, how many games have they played? Four games left? Three games left? Something like that? Two games left? Not very many games left. Uh, is anyone else having the same problem as Tice? Could be try a different browser, Tice. That might that might help. Maybe clear clear cache and cookies on your browser. That could be an issue. Um, do the Nuggets hit? Uh, well. Yeah, that's why they're so cheap. Prices, prices are, very generally speaking, prices are, are um, there's Kobe, are based on quality and quantity of cars. There's Kobe. Lime green, lime in the coconut for the Lakers. And a 175 EA Sports is in the game. And we've got signature series James Posey. Look, remember the old Grizzly logo? That goes to Josh Hall and the Memphis Grizzlies. Should be out of 10. 8 out of 10. That card is gold. There's on Obi. Again, that's that is the hollow refractor. Chris Middleton. Poor Kyrie Irving. Lime Green, Chris Middleton going to James and the Bucks out of 175. This is just a uh, non-numbered one, but the rated rookie ones tend to do pretty well. The hollow editions definitely have the, have the extra bit of value for some of the more recognizable rookie names. J.J. Redick, and Justice Winslow, Black Velocity. Justice is served to Dylan Card. Yeah, but here's the thing about the cheap teams, Brad, is that it's uh, the risk is low, lower, relatively speaking, the, the risk is low. And if you get a nice hit, you know, the margin of success is a lot higher. Low risk, high reward. 147 out of 199. If you bought a more expensive team, you got to, 
And if you're, let's say you were trying to get your money back, you, you, if you got a more expensive team, you got to count on more cards and more parallels to kind of get that, to get up to that level. With a cheaper team, you don't need as much to, to get your cost of admission back. Nikola Vucevic, Orlando Magic, goes to Chris Parent. 53 out of 99. All right, next box. Good luck, everybody. Man and Days, I'm wondering where are the Donovan Mitchells? I know, where are the Donovan Mitchells? <laughs> I've seen some rated rookie cards, but I haven't seen the hollow parallels of the rated rookie cards. I know Jason Jones would like to see some jazz. Uh, Madison's asking, are the soccer products on the website good, in my opinion? Um, everything on the website is good, Madison. We would never put anything bad on the website. Why would we put anything bad on the website? Why would I put anything bad on the website and tell you to buy something bad? I would never do that. I think if you have no experience with soccer, Madison, I think this year's the time to do it because of the World Cup and there'll be a lot of extra hype due to the World Cup. This goes for every anybody. I know a lot of people don't have experience with soccer. It's a good time to get experience for soccer as we march into World Cup zone later this summer in a few months. And um, and when we get uh, Pr Panini Prism World Cup later this month, there's Yusef Nurkic and there's Jason Tatum, hollow. That goes to the C's. Jeremy Merle with the Celtics. Markel Fultz, the rookie. Hollow. Nice. There's Gordon Hayward. Red. There's Gordon Hayward. 20 out of 99. And that Markel Fultz Sixers, Tim Smith, it's pretty solid. Nurkic, big part of that Trailblazers team. Goes to Karen at a 199. You didn't read the description, Brad. What if I told you the description said no cards ship? Oh man, Brad, I wish you'd have read the description. It says no cards ship. This is just for fun. It's just for me. Damari Carroll, out of 175. Uh, ben Simmons is considered a rookie. He didn't play a single game last year, so he's considered a, he's considered a rookie. Not like when Julius Randle broke his leg in his first game ever in his career. He was not no longer considered a rookie because he made one appearance. So it's going to be, I think it's going to come down to Ben Simmons or Donovan Mitchell. There's Jimmy Butler for the Bulls, blue parallel this time. Twenty-three out of forty-nine. Rated Rookie Signatures Hollow. That's my boy, Kyle Kuzma. EA Sports with the Kyle Kuzma Hollow Edition. 
Man, I am out of the doghouse now. <laughs> right, Eric? I'm out of the doghouse. Yesterday, Eric bought the Lakers in break three, but break four filled up first, right? Which he didn't, he didn't have the Lakers in break four. Kyle Kuzma redemption came out, and I was just in my head, I was just like, oh man, I'm in trouble with Eric. And I was like hoping, man, I gotta stay positive. I'll probably pull another one in the second case, the, kid, the break that he's in. And there you go. Rated rookie signatures, hollow this time. Kyle Kuzma. Lakers. Man, are we happy about Kyle Kuzma? When you draft guys like late in that first round, you don't know what's gonna happen, right? You don't know what's gonna happen. Late round picks could be, you know. Like, it, it's almost hard enough to figure out what uh, what lottery picks are going to do, if they're going to bust or not, let alone late first round picks. So Kyle Kuzma, and even Josh Hart to a certain extent, has been, uh, has been a huge revelation. Uh, no, MRG. Ah, there's Eric. <laughs> Eric was like, I figured you would pull the Donovan tonight since you had the Jazz last night. Well, Kyle Kuzma makes up for it. You had a nice flawless break last night, too. Kyle Kuzma hollow. All even now. Now, the only person that's mad now are the Lakers owners in breaks one and two, which actually might be you, Eric. <laughs> actually, it might have been you. And sorry, MRG, you're you're stuck with me. I know you don't like me, but you're, I'm, I'm I'm the only one doing this. You're stuck with me. Oh, you did have the Lakers in one and two. And you know what? I I wouldn't be surprised if if that and all the parallels that we pulled out of here, you put them all together. If you were to sell everything, grind it out. I don't think you'd be down that much. And the and of course the potential of getting like Alonzo Ball even. You know, another autograph or a one of one or a low number card. Like that that'll that'll put you in the in the black very quickly. Yeah, I haven't seen a train whistle yet, Andy. This is true. Not seen a train whistle yet. Josh Hart could be cool too. Sterling Brown, there's D Wade, Cavs edition. Yeah, we've not seen Alonzo Ball as of yet. There's Sterling Brown for the Bucks, 32 out of 49. Uh, Milwaukee, James with Milwaukee. And I was just talking about Josh Hart, and there he is. Rookie dominator, Josh Hart who is actually playing, this is a lot better than Alex Caruso, EA. No disrespect to Alex if you're watching, man, but Josh Hart drafted just a little bit before or after Kyle Kuzma. I think after. Three out of 10. That card is gold. Gold for the purple and gold. He's actually played pretty well. I don't think his ceiling is as high, but I think he... I think he's pretty, pretty a fan favorite, you know. Scores, plays hard. There's Alfred Camino for the Trail Blazers, and Wesley Matthews, former Laker Wesley Matthews. Uh, Denver Nuggets, Denver Nuggets, Dallas Mavericks, out of one ninety nine. Hey, you're welcome, EA. Unlike Alex Caruso, Josh Hart, I try to make you feel better about Alex Caruso, but in reality, that's the that's the guard that you want, Josh Hart. After Lonzo Ball, of course. What is Josh Hart's? There's Dwayne Bacon for Charlotte. I'm not sure what Josh Hart's ceiling could be. Um, maybe 
definitely a, a great off the bench option, you know, but maybe maybe two guard, perhaps starting maybe fill that Jordan Clarkson role next to uh, next to Alonzo Ball. He'll Alonzo will play the one. Maybe he plays the two, perhaps. I have no idea. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's a Villanova guy, too. That's right. So, yeah, so he might be able to... Uh... He might be able to kind of emerge as that. I might take him a year or two to really kind of get into his own, but I think initially, like Kyle Kuzma will probably start pretty much from the get-go, you know, next season. Josh Hart, maybe not, but... But all signs are very encouraging. Well, yeah, I see you said I said Denver Nuggets. They got you. Yeah. No, sorry, Brad. I want to see Matthews not on the Denver Nuggets. To be honest with you guys, pretty excited about the NBA playoffs this year. There's um, there is um, you got rookies like Jason Tatum on the Celtics that we're gonna see in action. You got guys like Joel Embiid, healthy if he's healthy, uh, and Ben Simmons for the Sixers in there. You've got I mean we Pacers are in the playoffs. We might see some some TJ Leaf action. Dust off your Victor Oladipo rookie cards from a couple of years ago. You know, Miami Heat. You can see Bam Adebayo. Bucks. You can see Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, so there, there's some of these young first or second year players that we're going to see a lot of. Um, let's see, who else? Utah Jazz. Obviously, you're, you're going to see um, Donovan Mitchell in action. That could, that could be great too. All, all good things for the hobby. All good things for the hobby. All right. Next box. Good luck, everybody. There's Kawhi Red. Red Kawhi Leonard, 60 out of 99 for the Spurs. That'll go out to Josh. There's Hollow Bacon, rated rookie. That's for Charlotte. I think how close were Charlotte? Charlotte were, was a little behind. 35 wins this year, 35 and 45 at the moment. But we got Josh Jackson, blue, 28 out of 49 for the Suns. That'll be for Jared. And the Suns, he started to come into his own too. At the uh, pretty much the last couple months of the season or so, a good thing. That's just a regular Kyle Kuzma. Yours, EA, will be hollow. Have his on-card autograph on it. Lakers season is almost done. He had a good season, but it's it's done. No playoffs for them. Nice, Dan Smith Jr. 39 out of 199. All right, getting warmer on this one. EA and the Dallas Mavericks. But, you know, a parallel like this could still carry a solid amount of value as well, a surprisingly solid amount of value. Ojalei. Is your autograph signature series auto that goes out to Jeremy Merle and the Celtics? Yeah, Kyle Kuzma will have time to sign cards. Dan Smith Jr. will have time to sign cards. All right, there you go. We got to play the whistle, Brad. We're not. We're not even close to being done yet. 
you can't live and die with every pack. You gotta, you gotta see it from a broad point of view. Dirk Nowitzki, 60 out of 79, pink velocity, or confetti, as I like to call it. All right, next box. All right, good luck, everyone. You, 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 you can't play the game like that, Derek. You're like, every time I hear da Dallas, it's like a heartbreak. You can't. If you play it like that, it, these breaks are going to stress you out way too much. It won't be good for your health. You got to you gotta take a deep breath and view this break in its entirety, not... You know, you got to take a step back from it. Few packs to go. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. And we've got Markel Fultz autograph. I don't think we've seen Markel Fultz yet. Markel Fultz on card autograph for Tim Smith and the Philadelphia 76ers. Nice. I don't know why you're screwing with your shot, Markel, but, but get that back in the summer. There's Devin Reed, rated rookie, hollow. Evan Turner, orange. Another Josh Jackson, the rookies, silver. Sorry, hollow. I call him hollow in this one. The Evan Turner, Karen, is 128 out of 199. Josh Hart. There's Lonzo Ball, rated rookie, hollow. I don't think we've seen a hollow one yet, Eric. Rondé Hollis Jefferson for the Nets. Miles Turner. Red, Rodney Hood. And that's that. Four boxes to go. Uh, the Red Rodney Hood, by the way, Jazz, is 61 out of 99. Goes to Jason Jones. And the Lime Green, Rondé Hollis Jefferson, 110 out of 175 for the Nets. Jeremy Merle with that one. Get the lime and the coconut. All right, next box. Good luck. What's coming up after this? 
Coming up after this, if you look in your chat right there, is Spectra Basketball. Oh, I forgot to change the time on one of those things. You know, Spectra Basketball will be coming up next. Then break credit. Then we may be able to squeeze in another uh, another break or two. Those times are not correct. But this will be this will be done by pretty much the top of the hour. And then Spectra basketball only takes like 15, 20 minutes. We'll rock through that. Then we'll uh, finish off. Uh, we'll give away the money. The break credit randomizer will happen at around 10, 15-ish West Coast time. 10, 30-ish West Coast time. And then I'll post some uh, one-box breaks of, of elite draft football. I'm sure we can get through two or three of those maybe before the end of the broadcast. And then we'll call it a night. That'll be a good way to end the night. I don't think I've had a second to tweet anything out. We were so busy from the get-go. So thanks very much, everyone. That might be a train whistle right there, too. Adjust your volume, volumes, ladies and gentlemen. Behind Jared Allen is Oscar Robertson. Retro Series Oscar Robertson, three out of five for the Milwaukee Bucks. Woo! Woo! That is hot. That's a hot, hot hit. Three out of five. The big O right there, yeah. Oh my. James, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! I like when the parallel matches the color of the team, too. That is strong. Strong, I say. Got the rookies, Lonzo Ball, just a regular one, but those rookies inserts are a little bit a little bit more short printed. Lime Green, Damian Dotson, and Keith Van Horn. For Jeremy Merle and the Brooklyn Nets. That is last spot. I think this is New Jersey Nets era Keith Van Horn. <laughs> There's James right there. Yeah, man. Look at that. That is strong. There's Hollow, Thomas Bryan. Hollow. Damian Dotson, Lime Green. You put the lime in the coconut. Out of 175, going out to the Knicks, Darren McKenzie. Paul George edition. Damian Dotson rated rookie. Blue this time. Out of 49. You know, we haven't, we haven't seen Frank Tilakina. Dan Asell, hollow. TJ Leaf. Zach Randolph, 170 out of 199. For the Kings, that'll go. We haven't seen Fox in the box either, Ryan. We gotta look for that guy too. Isaiah Thomas, Cavs edition. Kyle Lowry, eight out of 39. Raptors could be dangerous. Danger us this year. In playoffs, they, they've changed the system. They've changed the way they play. They're not they're not your father's Toronto Raptors. 65 out of 199. They're not last year's Toronto Raptors. And there's Miles Turner. Three boxes to go. Keith Van Horn. Nice. Good luck, everybody. Three boxes to go. Almost there.
mind. Such a riveting Kings break that he fell asleep and then wake up to me talking about the Kings. I, well, not in a good way. We were we were just wondering where are the Kings? <laughs> we have not seen a deer and fox autograph. We have not seen a fox in the box. Although there's another lime green right there. All right. Here we go. Almost there. I'm definitely running out of gas, folks. This is this is late late in the week for me. Late in the day, late in the week. Um I we have not seen any retros of those guys. There's a redemption. Any guessing for bragging rights? There is Lime Green, Larry Bird, All Stars. Lime Green, Nicola Batum for Charlotte. Kemba Walker. Ah, you're looking for Frank. Well, I'm surprised we haven't seen Frank Mason either. Out of 177. And Larry Bird for Jeremy and the Celtics out of 175. Jackson. There's Derek White for the Spurs. Rated a rookie, Derek White. It's out of 79 for the Spurs. That'll be for Josh. DJ Wilson, rated rookie, hollow. And Drew Holiday, 8 out of 10. That card is gold. Gold! That goes to Rick and the Pelicans. Drew Holiday having a nice season this year. There's John Collins for the Hawks. James Otten with that. Out of 199. Chandler Parsons at the end. All right, so there's the Reggie Miller guess. There's an Anuobi guess. Tilakina guess. Kobe guess. It's going to be Tony Bradley, rookie dominator signatures for the Memphis Grizzlies. Josh Hall with the Grizz. gold right there. Two boxes to go. All right, good luck. Gold Rush, are you breaking tomorrow? Oh, day off for sure, Gold Rush. I do this five nights a week, Tuesday through Saturday. Six nights, seven nights? If I was a cyborg maybe, if they come up with the technology where they can, uh, you know, if, if they, yeah, if they can if they can come up with the technology where, where they can turn my hands into cyborg hands, to Luke Skywalker robot hands, do that. Oh, is that Jazz Tony Bradley? Well, who am I thinking of on the on the on the Grizzlies then? Yeah, no, I'm sorry. Tony Bradley is is a uh, is a Jazz. Um, sorry, Josh Hall. 
who's you have a no there who's the who's the who's the Grizzlies rookie then all right so we'll hit control Z on that <clears throat> oh, rookie dominator signature. We'll fix this. We'll fix this in post. Rookie dominators. It's Tony Bradley for the Jazz. Look at that. Jason Jones with the Utah Jazz. Tony Bradley. Big thanks. To, big thanks to EA for pointing with the sharp eyes. Who am I thinking of? I think I'm, I, th I might be thinking of Tony Allen. No, Ivan Rab is the big is the is the rookie in this set. Dylan Brooks. Hmm. Might, might have been Tony Allen. That's what probably got me. It's been a long week, folks. This is this is like right now. This is like four o'clock on a Friday afternoon for United Fivers. For those of you with regular jobs. You know, and those of you who work those nine to fives, Monday through Friday, know know what uh know what that feels like. Or if you're in like school, in like high school, junior high or whatever, this is like Friday, an hour before the the the, the final bell. And you're just like, come on, sixth period, hurry up. Going so slow. All right, two boxes to go. Spectra basketball after this, and then break credit, and then maybe we'll close the night out with a box of elite draft picks. In fact, I think we will. So we'll post that after this break. There's Courtney Lee and Luke Kennard. We haven't seen him yet. Rated rookie autograph for the Pistons. That'll be for Philip. People were surprised, if you remember. Um, people were, were surprised at how they were able to get Blake Griffin without giving up this guy. He's, so he's pretty. He's favored out there. There's the glove, Gary Payton, retro series, 33 out of 99 for the Seattle Supersonics. Which, of course, turned into the Oklahoma City Thunder. Gabe with that one. Courtney Lee for the Knicks. That'll go to D-Mac. Out of 79. That's for the Grizz. Dylan Brooks. So the rookies, Markel Fultz. Go to the Sixers. Dylan Brooks. Out of 175, that's for the Grizz at Lime Green. The rookies, Hollow Josh Jackson. Is that like your third one? That's pretty good, sons. Jared. All these add up. And he's been playing pretty well as of late, too. And the Suns with another lottery pick? All gonna click one day, and it'll be scary. Kemba Walker, lime green. Charlotte, forty-nine out of one seventy-five. Charlotte Hornets going to Chris Parent. Bradley Beal, Washington Bullets. Yeah, Mark Bellinger, you've been behind for about 10 years. Maybe a, little, maybe a little bit less, actually. Has it been 10 years? Huh. How 
long has it been? Two thousand eight. It's about ten years, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Where have you been for ten years? The inaugural season was in 2009, actually. So a little under nine years. I guess next season, I think, would be 10th anniversary. Time flies. People in, the Se in Seattle want their Supersonics back? They might get an expansion team someday. And then take the... I wonder, that, that might be complicated. Because right now, I'm almost certain that, that, the, that the Thunder hold all of the Supersonics, like records and history and all that stuff as well. So if, the, if there is an expansion in Seattle with the intention of being the Supersonics, they're obviously going to want those records back. And Mark Bellinger, yes, there is a new Star Wars movie out too, Mark Bellinger. And Mark Rip Van Bellinger. Yeah, a new Star Wars movie out. There's two now. Two new ones. Sequels, even. Ice Cube is correct, Andy. There have been there have been many scientific efforts to figure out when exactly Ice Cube's good day was. Uh, for the Pistons, Grand Hill out of 175. Orange Julius Randle, lime green. Do I see, is that a Kings logo? 49 out of 175, that is a Kings logo. Uh, coming up after this will be Spectra Basketball. Harry Giles, not Frank, Harry Giles. Rated rookie auto for Ryan and the Kings. And that's our last autograph of the box. Ilya Sova, let's see if we can find any other low numbered cards here. Bob McAdoo, nice. Josh Hart, Terrence Ferguson, rated rookie, silver. Victor Oladipo, man, how has Victor Oladipo turned things around for the Pacers? He's looking incredible. Orlando Magic couldn't get couldn't wait to get rid of him. Couldn't wait. Now he's balling out with the Pacers. I don't know what changed. I have to, I'll have to do some more reading on that. Pacers. Kevin, there you go, out of 199. A little something for you. Ilya Silva's out of 99 for James and the Hawks. Rated rookie Terrence Ferguson. And there you have it, folks. Do I have any randomizing to do? No, I don't think I do. There you go. Thanks, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. There will be some more optic basketball in the store, so check it out. That'll uh, break on Tuesday. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.